Hey, welcome to Carswell's Customs. Uh, today we're on the laptop and we're going to be working with HP Tuners, uh, the VCM editor, and we're going to combine that with artificial intelligence. So I stumbled onto this just uh, the other day when I was uploading a tune. This is the uh, my stock Audi A4 tune. And I was running into parameters that I really wasn't certain um, that I was adjusting uh, in the right way. Uh, a lot of times it's hard to get tuning information um, exactly what you're looking for. So um, I started asking HP, or sorry, um, ChatGPT or Claude, and I got some really amazing results. So I wanted to share that so other car people out there can grab their HP tuners and start asking questions and start tuning with a little bit more information. So here we go. So this is my stock A4. I have a 2009 Audi A4 I recently purchased, and of course I'm not going to leave it alone. So I got HP tuners, and I'm using the MPVI3. Um, that one seems to be the most compatible with the Audi. So let's load up. I found a tune online, and this is a stage four tune. And so all I did was um, click on the compare and, and brought that up as a compare file so I can see what's been changed um, from whoever wrote this tune. So I like to start with a tune that somebody's already hot rotted and then learn about it and then see if, it's, uh, if it fits my needs. So anyway, uh, here we go. So let's go right up to general. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Idle, RPM, airflow, torque. I'm just going to go through these chapters here real quick. Um, actually, let's go right to it. Forget about it. Let's go right to the turbocharger. So, awesome. Looks like we've got some items called desired can pressure, DC. I'd imagine that's a duty cycle, uh, wastegate duty cycle. Um, there's another table here for duty cycle and PR limit, pressure ratio based. So, I'm not 100% sure on these terms. And the information you see at the bottom is is okay. It's enough to you know put information down there. But let's let's actually try to figure this out. So we'll try what would be a fun one. Let's just do PR limit. Okay, compressor overspeed PR limit. So this is in the pink here is the compare file, the stage four or stage whatever, and then these are the stock values. So ECM 14803. So check this out real quick. This is one of this is a cool deal. Uh, we'll start with ChatGPT, and this is my prompt to start the party. Hey ChatGPT, Chat, Chat, hey ChatGPT, I want to create a detailed tuning guide for an Audi vehicles using HP Tuner's VCM editor. The guide should focus on turbocharging 2.0 engines like the CAEB and the 2009 A4. I'm going to paste parameters from HP Tuner's VCM editor. Please explain the parameters briefly and with the intent of increasing horsepower. How does that sound? Do you have any suggestions or questions for this project? So I work with artificial intelligence quite often uh, at work. So explaining this prompt a little bit, you can skip ahead if, if you know what's up, but um, defining, the, defining the scope of the project, I want to create a detailed tuning guide for Audi vehicles using HP tuners. So I give uh, ChatGPT an idea of what we're doing and what tools we're using. Uh, the engine, the 2.0 engine, and the uh, year of the A4. A lot of times with artificial intelligence, it works great when you are very specific. So after I give some parameters, um, I let ChatGPT know I'm going to paste parameters from HP Tuners into the, uh, from the HP Tuners VCM editor. So please explain the parameters briefly. That's important. Otherwise, ChatGPT will go on all day long. Um, and with the intent of increasing horsepower. So again, I'm defining the scope of the project. We want to know what the parameters are briefly, but more importantly, how does this increase horsepower? So and this is my this is my open-ended question at the at the at the bottom here, and it's critically important. I feel how does that sound? Do you have any suggestions or questions for this project? So I open this dialogue up uh, to ChatGPT. So you get better responses and ChatGPT has an opening to provide additional information. 
which has been extremely important. If you write a prompt and it's very, very terse and question-based, it is never as good as when you're inviting ChatGPT to be a uh, teammate on a project. ChatGPT will bring in so much more information. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and fire this one off. And yep, my name's Christopher. So there's a lot of information that's going to come up here. But what I'm doing is sometimes he just goes off on his own. So let's just stop for a second. So one of the most powerful things that I've found and something I really love is ChatGPT's ability to interpret images. So what I'm going to do is take a snip here, and I've got the table, the values, intake air temp, engine speed, and then the uh, parameter number. I forget what it's called, but ECM 7918. So I'm going to take that. say hold up chat GPT here is an image of what we are tuning please analyze and provide feedback on how to increase horsepower I just hit control V. You can see that the uh, image is pasted into the context window. And I'm going to go ahead and send it. Send it to the chatter here. So this is really the this is good stuff. Parameter breakdown, ECM compressor overspeed PR limit. What this table does limits the pressure ratio your turbo can run to prevent uh, compressor overspeed. Um, yada, 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 how it affects horsepower, and it's going to give you some suggestions for tuning for more power. Uh, safety tips to make sure you don't go bonkers, um, modification strategies, and you can take this stuff or, or not. But what we're doing here is trying to understand the parameter that somebody's modified if you're using somebody else's uh, tune, which I am. So this is the stock tune, and this is the modified tune. So we can see that obviously the numbers get bigger with the modified tune. I'll jump back to the explanation. It limits the pressure ratio your turbo can run to prevent compressor overspeed. Okay, so it's a protective limit. Here we go. That's what we need to know. The higher the limit is, the more boost the ECU can request or allow. Solid. So, um, probably risky, but let's start there. Okay, we'll just leave that as is. So, let's roll down. This is duty cycle, wastegate maximum desired duty cycle. So, that makes kind of sense, and at 96%, um, the maximum desired wastegate duty cycle that can be commanded. So it must mean that more duty cycle um, closes the wastegate? I mean, I don't know, right? So let's ask that question. And we can do it a different way. Let's do it like old school. Let's just do this. So if I click on this or hover over it with my cursor, at the very bottom here it says wastegate maximum desired duty cycle. So let's just block that. Control C as in Chris, and then lots of good stuff. Great work. Thank you. Never hurts to be kind, right? So don't tell me it wastes processing power. I don't care. So great work. Thank you. Now, can you analyze or can you what? What should we say? Can you explain this parameter and how to make more horsepower with it? Now, ChatGPT already knows. We've already discussed at the top of the um, 
context window or the, the top of this project, we've already defined what ChatGPT, ChatGPT already knows. What I'm doing here is just kind of uh, doing examples of AI for car people, right? This is how you just throw some prompts and, and, and get some useful information. So it helps if you put some things that help um, focus chat GPT so you can put information in a little whoops, a parentheses, curly braces, brackets. Uh, but when I'm done running my mouth, I'll put like a little colon here and then I'll put the information inside whatever I want. So, boing. So now, ChatGPT, I'm focusing the attention on what, uh, uh, what I'm looking for. So here we go. Wastegate maximum desired duty cycle. So here we go. Wastegate duty cycle percentage. How much the ECU keeps the wastegate closed? Higher the percentage, keeps the wastegate shut longer. Perfect. All right. Max duty cycle on this tune is 96%. Uh, looks like somebody increased it to 98% in the stage four production. So there we go. Boing. All right. So let's chat about desired can pressure. I don't have no. I don't have any idea what that means. Least gate desired canister pressure. I don't know. So, whatever. So I have my little table here. Looks like the tuner has decreased the values on the desired can pressure. Okay, cool. Let's take a snip. Oops, I did that wrong. Let's do this. Nope. Let's move it down here so we get not only the image, but we get the explanation and the parameter at the bottom. So I'm picking this up and I'm picking the table up. Snippity doodah here. There we go. Great work, bud. Let's chat about this table and parameter. Boing. You don't have to put images in curly braces, but whatever. I just get used to doing it. So wastegate desired canister pressure. This table defines how much boost pressure the ECU wants to send to the wastegate actuator. Okay. Map by exhaust mass flow, current gear, essentially the command signal pressure to the wastegate actuator based on higher canister. Here we go. This is exactly what I want. Higher canister pressure equals more force on the wastegate actuator, so keeps it closed longer, which is more boost. If the values are too low, the wastegate opens, opens earlier, boost drops less horsepower. Okay, sweet. So it appears that these values have been reduced, which is contrary to what uh, Chat G G excuse me, Chat GPT says. So let's. So there's a couple things that could be going on here. So this is a stage four tune. So who knows? I don't even know what the stages mean, but. That could mean that there's a different wastegate, um, blow-off valves, could be a different turbocharger or int uh, intercooler. So there could be some engine mods that, that I don't know about. Um, so let's do a double check, which is extremely important when, important when you're working with artificial intelligence. Because um, sometimes you get some answers that are just nuts. It won't make any sense. So let's talk to Claude. Let's see what Claude knows about hot rods. Hey, Claude. Can you give me some uh, information 
on this parameter, P A R A M E T R. Okay, looks like Claude likes images too. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, so, so some different information, x-axis, y-axis, and values. Gradual increases. Looking at your current table, you have higher values and higher exhaust mass flow ranges. You could gradually increase these values, but do so conservatively. Two to three kilopascals, I don't know, at, the, at a time. So, um, okay. So, um, two to three so KPA, kilopascals, or I'm probably saying it wrong, so feel free to correct me. Two to three, ah, let's go three. And then we're going to go plus three to everything there. In the zero table, I think I'll leave it all zero, but yeah, okay. So bingo, got some of that going. More can pressure. Wastegate canister Canister pressure, duty cycle. I'll come back to that later. Um, how about proportional gain? I mean, who, who even knows what that means? Wastegate proportional gain, the proportional gain for wastegate feedback control? I don't know. Let's see. So back to, back to Claude. Um, Claude and ChatGPT both agreed in that um, on the previous parameter, increasing the numbers means uh, more horsepower, or more, more boost pressure. So when I have two models, large language models that agree or are in alignment, then pretty good indication that, um, that we're going the right way. Okay, so let's go to Claude again. So great work, Claude. Holy cow. Great work. Claude Delicious. Uh, please analyze this table and provide increased horsepower sub settings uh, consultation. T-A-T-I-O-N. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if I can spell or not. Claude can. Wastegate proportional gain parameter. Oh, wow. Oh. Negative error response. So there's some reading in here that I'll have to do to uh, understand exactly what's going on. But the whole situation here is to introduce the idea of utilizing artificial intelligence for your tuning. Um, greatly speeds up the research. Um, and so if anybody wants a stage four Audi A4 tune, you're welcome to have it. Um, just send me an email. I'll have the uh, email in the, in the description. Or if you want a stock Audi A4 tune, I can, I can get you that, but I'll throw something together and then we'll do a follow-up um, tuning guide or something like that. So anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.